everyone, I'm excited to let you know about a game that we just got for Christmas, which is Grandpa Beck's Cover Your Assets. If your family likes games that are fun, easy, quick to learn, but create just a little bit of family rivalry, this just might be the game for you. Let's get started. After opening the box, shuffle, and then pass out four cards to everybody. You'll notice in your hand you have a bunch of assets. Everything from a piggy bank to cash under the mattress. The goal of the game is to collect one million dollars in assets with the help of the gold and silver wild cards. Now, you don't really need to remember what these assets are, but each of them have different values, everything from $5,000 to $20,000. The way you're gonna collect these assets is by forming pairs and creating an asset pile in front of you. There are three different ways to create these asset pairs. First is to have two pairs in your hand. So for example, if you have a $15,000 Classic Auto, you can grab those two cards and put them into your asset pile in front of you. The second way that you can create an asset pair is using one of the gold or silver wild cards and pairing that with an asset card. And finally, the third way is if one of the cards in your hand matches the top card on the discard pile, you can pair that and put that into your asset pile. Each time you lay down your card, you want to stack it in crisscross so you can keep track of each set of assets. Now, if you are not able to make any asset pairs, then you simply discard and draw a new card. So here you'll see Brandon doesn't have any matches and so he's going to discard and draw a new card. Lindsay has both a gold and a silver wild card, so she's going to use her silver wild card to form an asset pair and lay down her first set of assets. Play continues to go around with each player laying down asset pairs or drawing a new card if they can't make an asset. Okay, now we're getting to where you can steal one another's assets. This is where it gets really fun. Here's how you steal assets. The first pair that a person lays down is safe. You get that for the rest of the game. But everything on top of that can be stolen. If you have a wild card or a card that matches the top asset on somebody else's pile, you lay that down. And here's where the battle begins. The other player is going to try to battle back by also putting down wild cards or matching asset cards. That will continue for however many wild matching asset cards the two players have. They then take the entire set of cards and put it on top of their asset pile. And that is how you start to get rich very quickly. Play now continues on with people continuing to add to their asset pile, challenging other people for their assets. And of course, this is where taunting and jeering and a lot of family rivalry is encouraged. Yes, I have a bank yes. Cool, honey. It's because you're losing. <laughs> <laughs> of course, one of the strategies you'll want to employ is once you steal a big pile of assets, you'll want to try to cover those assets as quickly as you can so that somebody else can't try to steal them. Again? Ooh. No! Again! Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Now, when all of the cards from the draw pile are gone, this is where it gets a little more interesting.
The play continues until everybody has used up their cards. The only problem is, if you have to discard, there's no new card to draw. And you'll find that this is where there's a lot of back and forth for those most valuable asset piles that have built up. Good. No! no. <laughs> you really want me in there, Dad? Happy? Yes. Your face? <laughs> <laughs> Benz and are you happy? Yeah. 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 I got 295,000. <laughs> what did you get, Ryan? 110. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what did you get? 10. Okay, same. Okay. 690,000. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video, and I hope you get to try out this game. If you want to buy this product, look in the description below, and there will be a link. Be sure to comment below and let us know if there's another game that you'd like us to make a video about. If you want more fun ideas to try out with your family, go to our website at a littlefamilyfun.com.